All right, hey everybody, here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing Turkey Hill Spring Water in this huge one gallon container versus Wegmans Aqua Lemongrass Flavored Italian Mineral Water. And we're gonna start off by doing a comparison of their pH levels. So here we go. One, two, one, two, and mix it up. This is carbonated, so it's bubbling a little bit. Mix it up. They both look pretty close to me. I'm colorblind if you're new to the channel. They both look like sixes to me. pH level of six. So what both of these waters have in common is these are both waters that I got during my bus trip to Philadelphia. I got the Wegmans water at Wegmans in Philadelphia. And I got the Turkey Hill water at a rest stop on the way home from Philadelphia. It was at Tom's rest stop. It's like a gas station convenience store type of thing. And the Turkey Hill spring water is from Fox Ledge on Route 670 in Pleasant Mountain, PA. This was $1.39 for the whole gallon. And the Wegmans Aqua was $1.59 for just this one bottle. Um, I mean, obviously, this this is a nicer quality bottle itself, but it's actually more expensive than the whole gallon of this. Um, so this is flavored Italian mineral water. This has 10 milligrams of sodium, and the ingredients include natural mineral water, carbonation, natural lemongrass flavor. That's the ingredients. Lemongrass, I wasn't even sure what lemongrass was when I started this video. Lemongrass is defined as a topical, a tropical grass that yields an oil that smells similar to lemon. It is widely used in Asian cooking and in perfume and in medicine. So let's open these up and do a taste test comparison and I'm going to pick which one I think is better. And just... You know, starting off, I think this bottle is better. You know, it's glass, it's got this metallic lid. It's got like a, I think a blue tint to it. And so, yeah, as far as the bottle goes, this one wins. But for the taste, I am biased against flavored waters and I'm biased against, um, you know, sparkling waters. I mean, as far as sparkling waters go, this is not terrible. Like, some some sparkling waters are so strong, they have so much carbonation in them that they burn your throat. This one is not that strong. Or maybe I'm just getting used to sparkling waters. I've been doing so many reviews of sparkling waters. Maybe I'm just getting used to them. And here's the Turkey Hill water. Um, the water tastes really good, but it does have, like, kind of the aftertaste of the bottle itself. I, I think water shouldn't be sold in this type of plastic bottles. I just think it has a bad aftertaste, personally. So, Turkey Hill is a dairy, and they also sell ice cream and milk and iced tea, but primarily they sell dairy stuff. So I'm guessing, <laughs> I'm guessing they just have some machines that fill up these bottles and they're like, hmm, let's, uh, let's just put some water in it and sell it. And I'm guessing this is the same exact bottles that they use for, for milk. I actually visited Turkey Hill's website and I was actually surprised by how like, good it was. You know, for a smaller brand like this that I've never heard of before, that's kind of local to one state, I expected like a simple website with like four pages, maybe some dead links here and there. 
but they actually made a solid website. They have pages about the history of the company. They have pages talking about how they're going green. They have a page where you can ask for donations to your nonprofit organization. And like, you know, with, with most websites, they're trying to make money. But on this website, they have a page where you can request them giving money to you. It's kind of interesting. They also have a page talking about the Turkey Hill Experience in Columbia, PA. You can go to their dairy farm and experience the Turkey Hill Experience, apparently. It's kind of interesting. You can create your own custom ice cream flavor there. You can star in a virtual commercial. Like, they have a green screen at their dairy farm. And I guess they have a TV studio at their dairy farm where you can star in a Turkey Hill TV commercial. That's kind of interesting. Um, and I guess they have just lots of ice cream you can try out on the Turkey Hill experience. Which, to me, I mean, seems kind of bizarre. But, I guess to them, it's normal. They also, spell, they also sell the spring water in a smaller bottle. And I wish I would have gotten that instead. Because this is actually good quality water. But I think it's, you know, lower on my scale because of the the material the bottle is made out of. I wish I would have gotten the regular bottle just to have the, the, a better experience with the taste. So, anyway. Which one is the winner? In my personal opinion, the spring water is. Um, this might be the first time I've ever had a spring water in a one-gallon container. Normally they just put purified waters in here. And, um just regular drinking water in here so it's, it's neat having a spring water